I've been using Google Bard for some time now and I must say I love it. I think most of the people are underestimating the potential of Google Bard. And yes, it is under development right now, but still it has so much to offer. And in past few days, I have explored some of the hidden features of Google Bard and found some new prompts. And in this video, I'll talk about some of the features that will help you a lot. So without any further delay, let's dive in. As we know that Google Bard have access to the latest information and this is the biggest advantage for the Google. So let's talk about the number one feature. We can use it as a keyword research tool. Like in this example, I asked it to give me some low competition keywords on gardening and it provided me a list of some keywords that are relevant to that niche. But how do we know that this information is correct or not? For that, we're gonna use href which is definitely a premium and paid tool. So I pasted that keyword in href and it's showing us the competition and the search volume on that keyword. And it's also showing us some relevant keywords like how to grow tomatoes in port, how to grow tomatoes from seeds, where the competition is low but the search volume is good and that's a good sign. And another method you can do reverse keyword research like in this example I ask it to find some low competition keyword on personal grooming using Samrish, Ashref and Moz. Obviously these are some paid tools and now I have a list of some keywords that he gathered from all of these tools and arranged them accordingly. And so if you are a blogger and write articles, it can help you a lot in ranking your content. So it's not just limited to your articles, you can also do keyword research for your YouTube channel. And the number two is people queries, which is also related to our previous one. So how does it work? You can give it a specific topic and find questions that what people are asking for. And once you know that what people want, you can make YouTube video or write an article to answer those questions. And you can also find some latest friends from the Google using just Bard and look what people are searching for. Find queries, answer those queries and rank your content and you can do all of this by just using Google Bard. So moving on to the next, it can analyze charts. <laughs> yes. So in this example, I give it a prompt to analyze BTC price using moving averages, MACD, RS indicator, Fibonacci values and chart patterns and give me a complete conclusion. And it gave me a complete analysis of the price and by the time I'm recording this video, it's 19th May and it's showing us the correct price of the BTC and analyzed it using provided indicators and chart patterns and gave me a complete conclusion to buy it or not. And you can also set your desired indicators and change the parameters in your prompt to get your desired results. But obviously we cannot invest just based on this analysis and this is not a financial advice. But this is just a hint that maybe in future AI will be making our investment decisions 10 times faster. So the next one is related to our search. Like if I'm surfing the web and I want quick information about any article, I give it a link of that page and ask it to summarize the whole article for me. Like in this example, I want to know some soundproof ideas but I don't want to go through all of this article. I will simply go to the link and ask Bart to summarize the article for me and it will put some important points in front of me. And another example, in this Adobe Stocks page, where Adobe gives call for content about contributors, what contributors should make, what's demanding, and on what topics they should make the images. So if I don't want to read all of this article, I will simply copy the URL and ask it to name all call for content, and it will provide me a list of that, which makes browsing a lot more easier and faster. And this is not just limited to a single page, you can even give it a link of a whole website and ask it to find your desired information. So the next one is finding traffic. Let's say you are selling AI generated art, you will definitely want to sell your art on the websites that are getting more traffic. And I asked Bard to name the websites where I can sell AI generated art and it listed some of the sites, but I want to find out which site is getting more traffic. So I picked one of the site and asked Bard what is the monthly traffic of this website and it gave me a complete analysis of this website how much traffic it's getting, how much decrease or increase in the traffic over the time, from what countries it's getting traffic and on what keywords this website is ranked. And you can also do this with your competitor site. Let's assume this is my competitor site and I want to know on what keywords this website is ranked. So I'll simply ask Bard and it will list a keywords 
that are contributing to rank that website. And Google have also announced some of the new features for BART that they are moving BART to their Palm 2 model, which is definitely a more powerful and efficient model. And that's gonna improve its scoring capabilities. And we will also be able to add images in our prompts. And that's gonna change the way we prompt. And I can't wait for this feature. And maybe in future, we will be able to generate whole websites by just using a single image. Another announcement from Google that they are implementing Adobe Firefly in Google Bot and we will be able to generate images by just using Bot. And by the time I'm recording this video, we didn't receive any of this update, but Google Bot is now taking charge. So that's it from this video. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.